about introducing writing friendly letters. We talked about it on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and today. Okay, now that you have a general idea of what a letter is, we read The Day the Crayons Quit, we watched a video about how to write friendly letters, we learned about different parts of a letter. Today, I wanted to show you how I write a letter. This week earlier, we also talked about five different people that we need to write a letter to. So I'm going to write one of my letters from someone on my list. Today, I want you to watch how I write a letter to those who are doctors and nurses during this time of coronavirus. You ready? Okay, I need a piece of paper. So in order to write my letter, I need a piece of paper. Here we go, I got my paper. Next, you need a pen or a pencil. Hmm, let's see. Today, I'm going to use my giant pen. Okay, I have paper, I have a pen. I know who I'm writing to, the doctors and nurses. Let's get started. Okay, yesterday, we talked about how each letter has a greeting or a heading. Now, my greeting today is going to be Dear Doctors and Nurses, okay? Here we go, ready? Dear, Dear Doctors and Nurses. Comma. Dear doctors and nurses. Now, every time after a greeting, you always put a comma. So there it is. Dear doctors and nurses. Now, we did our greeting. Next comes the... That's right. The body or the heart of the letter. Okay. In my letter today, I want to let them know how thankful I am for all that they do. They are doing a lot to keep all of us safe while putting their own lives at risk. So, here we go. Dear doctors and nurses, thank you. two secret stories in that word. Hey! Oh, yes, let's go. I am praying for you. Period. And so, I have my heading, my body, I need what next? My closing and signature. So this one I'm going to put sincerely, here we go, sincerely, comma, and then I'm going to use my fancy writing, ready? Miss T. So here's my letter. Dear doctors and nurses, comma, thank you for all you do to keep us safe. 
I am praying for you. Sincerely, Miss T. Now it's your turn to go write a letter to one of your five people that you wrote down. Now, go grab a paper, pen or a pencil, and practice writing. Don't forget to include your heading, your body, and your closing and signature. We're going to talk a bit more about these next week and all the different greetings and closings you can put, but I want you to just go practice writing one of them. Have fun, and I will see you on Monday. Bye, kiddos.